Alright, so by request I'd like to do a uh, video series on building a uh, team win recovery project and there's several different ways to do this. You can do this uh, in Lineage, you can do this in Omni, you can really do it in any ROM base that you want but there's two minimal manifests that are really handy to uh, utilize to build this. If you want to save some space but you need to build this, uh, very very good way to get this done. So, uh, if you just uh, go to your web browser of uh, GUI web search of choice and type Omni Twerp Mini then you will get brought to this GitHub and you see this minimal Twerp manifest and we have for Omni uh, let's go ahead and we'll expand this in a different video series that I did I included Lineage OS and you can definitely do that in there as well um, and so here we are, we're at the Twerp Omni, and you can choose whichever branch you need for the particular device that you have. Um, in our case, we're going to be working with the uh, Blue Life 1X2, and so we're going to just stick with Twerp uh, 6.0. But uh, just be aware that you can do it all the way from 4.4 uh, up to 8.1 here. And uh, so plenty of, plenty of different options for how to get this done. So very easy to do, very quick to download. Uh, getting started, it just has these four commands, but that is not exactly right. And we've seen this before, that obviously if you're going to do something like this, you're going to need to uh, install a few things. So let's talk about that. So if you jump over here and uh, web search for Android Open Source Project, you can uh, click on like downloading the source or whatnot, and uh, we'll, we'll get here, bring you up to this download the source page. And let's jump over to requirements real quick. Now these requirements are for building the whole thing and that's not going to apply as much here. Notice the you need a 64-bit environment, which is still true. You need a, uh, it says 100 gigabytes of free space, 150 gigabytes to build it. That's if you're building the whole thing. Uh, this actually is going to take significantly less space. Significantly less space. So if you have less than uh, 100 gigabytes, you can definitely still build uh, team win recovery project. Actually, I'd, I'd say you could probably do this if you just had 60 gigabytes of free space. Um, and uh, you're going to need less RAM, uh, less swap space. I don't know the exact numbers on that. Uh, I'm doing this on Ubuntu 14.04 and it works perfectly fine here. You can do this on whatever you want. I'm just saying if you want to follow along with the video, I recommend 14.04. Um, something to consider is that we do need uh, the appropriate OpenJDK version or Java development kit version for what we're going to build. In this case we're going to do uh, Android 6.0 Marshmallow and so we need OpenJDK 7. Okay, now this isn't super important for building Twerp because Team Win Recovery Project doesn't have all the Java stuff in there but uh, you know if you're going through and you're setting up your build environment you definitely want to um, get uh, get the right setup. So if you follow this, I guarantee you it will build properly. So we go to establishing a build environment. Um, the first thing that you need to do if you're on a machine like mine for 1404, uh, it's telling you to install OpenJDK 8. You don't need to do that because we're doing, in this case, for Marshmallow, but if you were doing for uh, you know, 8.1 or 7.1 and up, Nugget and up, then you would definitely want to follow this. Um, I already have these installed. If we do Java AC um, dash version, what we see here is uh, <clears throat> I'm on 1.8 uh, 171. So I'm already with OpenJDK 8. Uh, but you can, uh, if you just let me sudo uh, aptitude search open JDK and you'll see that there's several versions available. Now I, uh, you'd have to watch my other video series for how I added the PPA repository for OpenJDK 8. So if you're doing that, you would you would want to watch those uh, building uh, Omni Omni ROM 8.1.
I go over that in great detail and so I recommend you read that if you want to do the same. Um, 7 and down should be uh, in your 1404 release. If you're in 1504 and above, uh, JDK 8 is going to be there as well when you search like this so you would just install it. Uh, in this case I already have it installed <coughs> but uh, just be mindful that you would need to go ahead and install this uh, you know with like a sudo apt get install and in our case it would be open JDK-7 JDK. Um, if you were doing this for Nugget and Up you would do 8 or whatever the case may be. So you would install your Java then you would install your required building packages. You can just double click on this line and paste it right in there. Those are already installed on my machine. As it says, that's already the newest version. Uh, and then now we can go, uh, well, we'll need the repo tool. So before we go there, uh, one thing I will show you, if you're building different variants of um, Team Win Recovery Project or Android on your machine, you can update your alternatives for configuration for Java to pick which version you want to use. So you can install multiple versions and then pick which one you want. So if you installed OpenJDK 7 and OpenJDK 8 and you're bouncing back and forth and building different things, you can just use this command here to pick one. And in this case, we're going to go back to Java 7. And then also they have the command here for changing your Java C. and again I can pick number one for Java 7 and now if I try to build anything I'm going to be using OpenJDK 7 instead of OpenJDK 8. Last thing you need from over here you'll click on download the source and you need to install the repo tool which the steps are right here uh, and we're just going to briefly touch on them we're going to make a directory in our home directory uh, for bin now if we look already have that uh, directory there bin right there so don't want to uh, do that again but just recognize that it's there you're gonna add this path of your bin to your path like so mine's already added so I don't need to do that again but just to uh, to set up to say hey if I want to execute this tool look in the bin folder first <coughs> Then the next thing, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> next thing that you're going to do is download it with this curl command, and that's going to download that tool and put it in your bin repo uh, for you there. And if we look ls in the bin, we see the repo tool is already there. And you're going to chmod a plus x bin repo, so you're going to make it readable and executable so you're changing and modifying it to be readable and executable so that way you can execute it like a program once you've done that you are done with the Android open source project you can go ahead and close that out and now we're ready to uh, download our source and build and there's a couple of interesting things here we're gonna make directory make dir and we'll call it twerp 6 we're going to change directory cd into twerp6 and we look and there we go there's nothing in there so you can just drag select this line paste it in there and you will download or initialize your repository so you can download twerp 6.0 but if you want to save more space this is definitely the way to go right here with this depth equals one command what that's doing is saying I only want to download twerp 6.0 I don't want anything else I don't want uh, earlier versions or later versions and all that because normally when you repo sync you are actually downloading more material than you really need and so by doing this you can cut down on the amount of code that you're going to need so it's all set up and ready to go we just repo sync and uh, that'll start downloading and literally this is uh, maybe like a gig worth of stuff does not take a whole lot of space um, definitely less than five gigs worth of material 
Um, so it doesn't take very long. I'm going to uh, go ahead and just stop the video. We'll pick back up once it's downloaded.